Understanding the Symptoms of Vitiligo Vitiligo causes patches of skin to lose their color. It can also affect the eyes and hair. People of any age, sex, and ethnicity can develop it. Vitiligo patches are more sensitive to sunlight. Isabella Diaz slash Getty Images Vitiligo patches appear when melanocytes within the skin are destroyed. Melanocytes are the cells responsible for producing melanin. Melanin gives skin its color and protects it from the sun's ultraviolet, UV, rays. Fast Facts on Vitiligo Here are some key points about vitiligo. Vitiligo can affect people of any age, sex, and ethnicity. There is no cure, and it is usually a lifelong condition. Vitiligo is an autoimmune disease. Vitiligo is not contagious. Treatment options may include exposure to special UV light wavelengths and medications to restore color and slow the development of new depigmented patches. What is vitiligo? Vitiligo is a skin condition in which patches of skin lose their color. The total area of skin that vitiligo affects varies between individuals. It can also affect the eyes, the inside of the mouth, and the hair. In some cases, affected areas may remain discolored for the rest of the person's life. Others may experience spontaneous repigmentation. The condition is photosensitive. This means affected areas are more sensitive to sunlight than unaffected areas. It is hard to predict whether the patches will spread and how much. The spread might take weeks, or the patches may remain stable for months or years. Lighter patches tend trusted source to be more visible in people with darker skin tones. Localized vitiligo. A doctor may diagnose localized vitiligo if only a few patches cover a small area. These patches may develop in a few places on the body. Non-segmental vitiligo. If a person develops patches on both sides of the body, this suggests a type of vitiligo known as non-segmental vitiligo. Its development is slower than if the patches are in only one body area. The patches often appear equally on both sides of the body, with some symmetry. In addition, they often appear on the skin commonly exposed to the sun, such as the face, neck, and hands. Non-segmental vitiligo is the more common trusted source type. Some researchers consider the following types of vitiligo as subtypes trusted source of non-segmental vitiligo. Acrofacial, this occurs mainly on the face, on the scalp, around the genitals, and on the fingers or toes. Mucosal, this appears mostly around the mucous membranes and lips. Generalized, in generalized vitiligo, there is no specific area or size of patches. This type causes scattered patches on different areas of the body. Universal, in this rare type of vitiligo, depigmentation covers most of the body. Mixed, this type of vitiligo is also rare. It can cause a person to have both segmental and non-segmental vitiligo. Rare variants, this includes other rare variations of vitiligo. Segmental vitiligo. Segmental vitiligo can cause rapid trusted source color loss on one side of the body. However, after 6 to 12 months, it can be more constant, stable, and less erratic than the non-segmental type. Once it stops, many people with segmental vitiligo do not develop new patches. According to a 2020 review article, segmental vitiligo is less common and affects only about 5 to 16 percent of people with vitiligo. Furthermore, it most often appears at a younger age than non-segmental vitiligo and only affects one body area, such as one leg, one side of the face, or one arm. Segmental vitiligo usually affects areas of skin attached to nerves arising in the dorsal roots of the spine. Conventional vitiligo treatments, such as topical steroids and phototherapy, may not work for this type. Symptoms The characteristic symptom of vitiligo is the appearance of flat lighter colored spots or patches on the skin. The first white spot that becomes noticeable is often an area of a sunburn or minor injury. It may start as a simple spot, a little paler than the rest of the skin, but as time passes, it becomes paler until it turns white. The patches vary in shape and size. 
The edges can sometimes be inflamed, sometimes resulting in itchiness. Typically, however, it does not cause any discomfort, irritation, soreness, or dryness in the skin, though it typically is more prone to sunburn. The effects of vitiligo vary between people. For example, some people may have only a handful of white dots that develop no further, while others develop larger white patches that join together and affect more significant areas of skin. Some people may also experience hearing loss, loss of eye pigmentation, and other autoimmune disease, such as thyroid disease. Diagnosis Any person can develop vitiligo at any age. However, it usually trusted source appears between ages 20 and 30 years. It can also occur in early childhood. When a person seeks medical treatment, a doctor typically asks about family history and performs a physical exam, especially on the skin. A doctor may also use a black light, an ultraviolet light shined on the skin, to help identify depigmented skin that appears chalky under the light. Treatment The American Academy of Dermatology describes vitiligo as more than a cosmetic problem. It is a health issue that needs medical attention. Several remedies can help decrease the visibility of the condition, though some people may not want to treat the condition at all. Using sunscreen The American Academy of Dermatology recommends using sunscreen to protect the skin. The lighter patches of skin are especially sensitive to sunlight, and they can burn quickly. A dermatologist can advise on a suitable type of sunscreen. Phototherapy with UVB light a common trusted source treatment option is exposure to certain wavelengths of ultraviolet B, UVB, light, called phototherapy. Home phototherapy units are available but must be used with the supervision of a physician. If a person goes to a clinic for treatment, a healthcare professional may recommend two to three visits per week. If there are white spots across large body areas, UVB phototherapy may help. It involves full-body treatment in an office setting. UVB phototherapy, combined with other treatments, can positively affect vitiligo. However, the result is not predictable, and there is still no treatment to fully repigment the skin. Phototherapy with UVA light Done in a healthcare setting, UVA treatment involves people taking a drug that increases their skin sensitivity to UV light. Then, in a series of treatments, a qualified healthcare professional exposes the affected skin to prescribed doses of UVA light. According to a 2017 meta-analysis, progress is typically evident after 6 to 12 months trusted source of therapy. Skin Camouflage While many people feel comfortable or enjoy how vitiligo looks, it may not be comfortable for everyone with the condition. In cases of mild vitiligo, a person can camouflage the white patches with colored cosmetic creams and makeup. They can select tones that best match their skin tone. Topical Corticosteroids Corticosteroid ointments are creams containing steroids. A 2017 review trusted source of studies concludes that applying topical corticosteroids to the white patches is an effective treatment. Corticosteroids should be used with caution on the face and only under the guidance of a physician because of potential side effects, such as thinning of the skin, spider veins, acne lesions, calcipotriene, Dovinex. Calcipotriene is a form of vitamin D used in topical therapy, often in combination with corticosteroids or phototherapy. Side effects may include itching. Redness. Burning. Drugs affecting the immune system. The topical medications tacrolimus and pimacrolimus are drugs known as calcineurin inhibitors. They may help with smaller patches of depigmentation. However, pimacrolimus contains a boxed warning from the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, about rare cases of malignancy, such as skin cancer and lymphoma reported in people treated with calcineurin inhibitors. Skin grafts In a skin graft, a surgeon carefully removes healthy patches of pigmented skin and uses them to cover affected areas. This procedure is not very common because it takes time and can result in scarring in the area. 
Blister grafting involves producing a blister on more typical skin using suction. The top of the blister is then removed and placed on an area where the pigment was lost. Tattooing Micropigmentation trusted source, or medical tattooing, includes implanting pigment into the skin. It may work in people with light to medium skin tones. Drawbacks can include difficulty matching the color of skin and the fact that tattoos fade but do not tan. Sometimes, skin damage caused by tattooing can trigger another patch of vitiligo. Depigmentation Depigmentation can be an option when the affected area is widespread, covering half of the body or more. It works by reducing the skin color in unaffected parts to match the whiter areas better. Depigmentation involves applying strong topical lotions or ointments, such as monobenzyl ether of hydroquinone, MBEH, for methoxyphenol, and phenol. The treatment is permanent, but it can make the skin more fragile. In addition, people must avoid extended exposure to the sun. Depigmentation can take one to four years depending on the depth of the original skin tone. Ruxolitinib, Opsalura. Opsalura is a topical Janus kinase, JAK, inhibitor. It's the only medication approved by the FDA to restore lost pigment in people with vitiligo. It can treat a small area of the body in people 12 years and older with non-segmental vitiligo. Causes and risk factors. What causes vitiligo is unknown trusted source, but there are a few theories. Some possible causes include Genetics An estimated 20% of people with vitiligo have a first-degree relative with the condition. Autoimmune response The body's immune system attacks and kills melanocytes. Oxidative stress When people have an imbalance of oxygen molecules and antioxidants, it may lead to vitiligo. Environmental factors, emotional distress, sunburn, or chemical exposure may lead to vitiligo. A person has a greater chance of getting vitiligo if they have a family history of the condition. However, certain autoimmune diseases are linked to an increased risk. About 15-25% to of people with vitiligo have another autoimmune condition. These other autoimmune conditions include Type 1 Diabetes Thyroid disease. Addison disease. Pernicious anemia. Psoriasis. Rheumatoid arthritis. Systemic lupus erythematosus. Complications. Vitiligo may not develop into other diseases, but people with the condition are more likely trusted source to experience. Painful sunburn. Hearing loss. Changes to vision and tear production, such as iritis. Social stigmatization and mental stress. Increased risk of skin cancer. Most people with vitiligo do not have these conditions, but a doctor may do tests to rule them out. Overcoming social challenges. If the skin patches are visible, the social stigma of vitiligo can make it more challenging to cope. Embarrassment can lead to problems with self esteem, and in some cases, anxiety and depression can result. Increasing awareness about vitiligo, such as by talking with friends about it and seeking role models with vitiligo, can help people with the condition overcome these difficulties. Connecting with others who have vitiligo may also help. Anyone with this condition who experiences symptoms of anxiety and depression can ask their dermatologist to recommend a mental health professional. Prognosis Vitiligo is not fatal. People with this condition can lead happy and healthy lives. However, the diagnosis can be emotionally challenging for some people. Some develop a concern about their appearance, especially as it grows to larger areas of the skin, which can affect one's quality of life. People can also develop secondary conditions, such as inflammation in the ear or eyes. Frequently asked questions. Can vitiligo go away on its own? Vitiligo will not typically go away on its own, but some people may experience periods of inactivity or remission. People may choose treatment trusted source to help manage symptoms. Is vitiligo a serious condition? Vitiligo is not life-threatening but can affect one's quality of life regarding self-image. 
Treatment is possible but may not always result in permanent reversal of symptoms. Mental health care may be a part of condition management for some people. Can anyone get vitiligo? Vitiligo affects up to 2% trusted source of all people worldwide.